Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. You can speak all those English but they really do so. I know a man in Zambia. His name is Mr. Simon. His father was a very popular rich guy before he died. Very rich. That built a, a, a shopping mall, sort of. And he used his money to send his son abroad. And he went abroad. The father has died years later. He has come back to Zambia. He's now a new Zant. Uh, I don't know, in Africa, in Nigeria here, if you are 50 years old, and when you just selfie camera, selfie stick. In Nigeria here, all these children here, homo ya who boys in that, they are looking for money to uplift their family. A grown-up man that is more than 50 to 60 years old, in the morning, he entered the car from his father's sweat, through selfie stick all over the street. Hello, how are you? What are you doing? What is your name? He's mad, but he doesn't know that he's mad. The, the problem with mad people is that they don't know that they are mad. Even if you tell them that they are mad, they will, they will think that you are the one that is mad. If not, a man that is above is an abomination in Africa. It doesn't happen. But if I tell him, he think, what English? Hello, how are you? Oh, well. If you make a mistake, you are speaking next to him. You make a mistake in English, he will correct you. You are correcting somebody that is richer than you. What did you do with your big English? Melbourne, Australia. Kwakasoma Kuchinsali, Western Province, Northern Province. Welcome, wherever you are. Guys, the other day... I get a notification. Somebody says to me, do you know that Andrew Ejimadu, this false prophet that hails from Nigeria, apparently he made reference to you in one of his sermons. And I watched the clip and it broke my heart. And let me tell you why. Andrew Ejimadu, whom you refer to as seer nothing, begins to preach to a crowd of about 3,000 people underneath a tree. And instead of talking about Christ the Redeemer, instead of talking about the fairest of 10,000, instead of talking about the bright and the morning star, he begins to talk about me. Guys, I have no redemptive power. But he missed an opportunity to preach the gospel, and yet he decided to start gossiping instead of preaching the gospel jesus said it this way i'll throw it up he said the harvest is ripe but the laborers are few how in the world do you have a nigerian false prophet that misses an opportunity like that where you've got 2500 3500 people that are listening to you a captive audience and then all of a sudden you begin to talk about Simon in Zambia. Those Nigerians don't know who I am. The Nigerian people, when they go to church, they're looking for a word of encouragement. They're looking for a word of edification, a word that will pull them up out of the miry clay of sin and put their feet on a higher ground. Not Simon from Zambia. It's a shame. It really is a shame. And so to my Nigerian brothers and sisters, I say to you, whenever you go to church, don't go to Andrew's church. All he ever does is gossip. Find a Bible-based church somewhere that will preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, that will fulfill the Great Commission. Not these jokers that stand underneath a tree and preach to you about gossip and foolishness. You've been warned, Nigeria, do the right thing. Boom!
more news to come my lovely viewers make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and also turn on the bell icon to join the notification squad for now i'm out All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.